Welcome O Level students. In this lesson, you will be introduced to test 9 to test 12 of paper 2 of the 2019 O Level English language paper. You were already introduced to paper 1 of your 2019 O Level paper and if you haven't watched those lessons yet, please do. Let's start off this session with the first question in your paper 2. Test 9. You are asked to read and underline the most suitable word given within brackets. In order to help you, the first one is done for you. This question is in the form of a prose text and three options of the possible answer are given for each missing word. Read the question carefully and you are supposed to underline the correct word. When you read the sentence, you will get an idea of which word or verb or noun would best suit the sentence. You will be getting five marks for this section, so let's do it right. Let's do it together. Test 9. Read the text and underline the most suitable word given within brackets. The first one is done for you. Once a month, I go to the public library in my town. Last week, I visited the library and borrowed a book from the lending section. How long can I keep the book? I asked the lady at the lending section. The book I found was a novel written by a British author. The title of the novel was Invisible Man. It was a small book with beautiful pictures. It took me one week to finish reading the book as I was very busy. However, I enjoyed the book very much. That was okay, wasn't it? Just a couple of things. We always go to the library to borrow books. We lend a book to someone if that person wants to borrow a book from us. The name of the book is known as the title of the book. You would also have noticed that the book has pictures. The adjective that is used to describe these pictures is beautiful. We don't call them handsome or pretty pictures. Also, we finish reading a book. We cannot say we end the book, though we can say that we ended reading the book. We certainly cannot say we close the book when we mean that we finished reading it. Let's now swiftly move on to test 10. Ravi, Pasan and Naveen went to see a movie yesterday. Given are some statements or questions from the conversation that took place among them after the movie. You are asked to rewrite each of them using reported speech. The first one is done for you so that you are reminded of what reported speech is and how to use it. Reported speech is a way of telling someone what was mentioned by another person. If you want to get an idea of reported speech, do watch our lesson on this topic. You would also notice that the text given is in the form of a dialogue. I am sure you are already aware of dialogues. If you want to get an idea of dialogues, further, do watch our lesson on reading dialogues. We have one on writing dialogues as well. So, as you can see, dialogues are in direct speech. Let's now do the exercise together. Ravi, it is a fantastic movie. Ravi said that it was a fantastic movie. Number two, Pasan. It is the best movie I have ever seen. Pasan said that it was the best movie he had ever seen. Number three, Naveen, I am glad that I saw it. Naveen said that he was glad that he saw it. Number four, Pasan. Ravi, did you like the ending? Pasan asked Ravi if he liked the ending. Number five, Ravi, I will ask my brother to see it as well. Ravi said that he will ask his brother to see it as well. Number six, Naveen, 
What is the name of the main actress? Naveen wanted to know what the name of the main actress was. That was okay because you simply had to fill in the missing spaces. For this exercise too, you are awarded 5 marks. So do get it right. Let's now look at test 11. You are given some words in a box and you are asked to fill in the blanks using those words. In this test too, similar to text 9, you are expected to read a paragraph and use the most appropriate word from the box. I would suggest that for this task, you strike out the word that you use in the box so that you won't get confused about what words are left for use. Let's first read the words in the box. Fascinating, home, wide, live, to, depth, farming, over, because, north, of, itineraries, most, visitors, often. Let's now read the passage and figure out what it's about and use the most suitable words. It is a description of a country, its people, what it's known for and other important facts. Let's read it together, shall we? And figure out what suits the blanks the best. Over the past few years, tourism in the East African country of Tanzania has been growing fast. Tanzania has a really fascinating multicultural history and is home to many different tribes. They live peacefully together and have a wide range of occupations such as farming and making traditional jewellery. Visits to tribal villages, notably to those of the Maasai in the north of the country, are often a highlight of travel itineraries. Last year, Tanzania welcomed about 290,000 visitors which made tourism the third most important source of foreign exchange. Only coffee and cotton brought in more revenue. Tourists are attracted to Tanzania because of its golden beaches and its unusual geographic features. It has lakes of amazing depth. Tanzania also has more land devoted to natural parks and game reserves than any other wildlife destination in the world. You might have found some of the vocabulary difficult. To begin with, fascinating means intriguing or very interesting. Actually, after reading this paragraph, I too am fascinated about this country. The word tribal means of or characteristic of a tribe or tribes. So what are tribes? Tribes are a social division in a traditional society consisting of families or communities linked by social, economic, religious or blood ties with common culture and dialect, typically having a recognized leader. Another word that you might have found difficult to understand is itineraries. An itinerary is a planned route or journey. You could even call it a travel document recording a route or journey. I am sure you would have seen itineraries when your teachers plan field trips to all the historical sites in Sri Lanka. Finally, let's look at test 12. This requires you to figure out what verb has been used? If you want to refresh your memory on the different verbs and their functions, do look at some of our previous lessons on the present, past and future tenses. Let's look at the question. This too is in the form of a paragraph. You are requested to complete the following passage using the most appropriate form of the verb given within brackets. As usual, the first question is done for you. Ramesh is a businessman. He often travels abroad on business trips. Last month, he went on a trip to Paris in France. During the tour, he stayed at Shangri-La Hotel in Paris. Previously, he stayed at the same hotel at least three times. On the last day of the trip, he went to see the Eiffel Tower. It is a special monument built in 1889 to celebrate the sentinel of the French Revolution. When he arrived there, he was welcomed by one of his school friends. 
Nalin, who lives in Paris. He has been working for a company there at least for 10 years. He was glad to see his friend after a long time. We use the present tense at the beginning to show that Ramesh travels regularly. With the phrase last month, we know that the past tense needs to be employed. We also use the past tense when we are told that the Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 to commemorate 100 years since the French Revolution. You would also note that Ramesh was welcomed by one of his school friends in Paris. Here the simple past passive is used, which is was plus past participle. We also use the present perfect progressive tense in has been working to show that an action started in the past but is still happening in the present. In this case, Ramesh's friend Nalin started working 10 years ago and still works in the same company. Do click on our next two lessons on paper 2 of your 2019 O-Level English Language Examination. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel and be alerted to more lessons like the one you just saw. See you soon.